Okay, we have a controversy. A controversy that, I have to be honest, I think the broadcast team screwed up. Uh, so this is very interesting for several ways. First, let's talk about the play itself. So Taylor Decker uh, is, you know, he's going to run a route here, which you might be wondering, wait a second, he's an offensive lineman. Offensive linemen don't run routes. Well, as you see, that's why it's going to be a good fake. Uh, Jared Goff takes the snap. He's going to find Decker. They get the game-winning two-point conversion. It's still 23 seconds left. The uh, Cowboys had a timeout. It's not a guaranteed win, but you're feeling pretty good if you're a Lions fan getting this uh, situation. However, it was ruled that he did not report as eligible. And the broadcast said, oh, yep, uh, clearly didn't report as eligible. But, I, you know, they showed the wide-angle clip. Here it is. So Taylor Decker, he's going to be one of the two players at the top of the screen. Uh, him and Panay Sewell are going to go up. And, I mean, watch as they go up and they pretty clearly walk over and talk to the referee here. Now, I don't know what they're saying. I suppose it's possible they didn't report, you know, uh, he didn't report as eligible. I suppose it's possible they got the wrong number and they thought that it was 70 and it was actually 68. That that might be the most likely outcome, actually, because 70 did run over uh, a little bit later on. So I, I wonder if that's what happened. But either way, I mean, again, they're saying he didn't report eligible. We saw the reaction from the Lions. They, they certainly reacted as if he reported eligible. And why wouldn't you report eligible? Also, going back over here, a lot of people said, well, it was illegal formation anyways. Well, I'm not exactly sure why. As the great offensive lineman Andrew Whitworth himself uh, tweeted out, and I'll you know take his word for it here, why did they keep saying he wasn't covered so it's a penalty? If he reported eligible, the correct thing for the correct thing would be for him to be uncovered. So the issue is entirely because he wasn't reported as eligible. It just comes down to what was said in that exact situation. I'm not sure if there was a mic anywhere in the area, if we can look into that. But it seems like, from what I see, it seems like the refs did get this wrong and the broadcast got it wrong, thinking that it was right. Mike McCarthy did say that the refs told uh, him that 70 was announced as eligible. So I think the refs just screwed up the number is what happened here. But just, you know, in a very unfortunate break for the Lions. And in fairness to the Cowboys, like, hey, they might have played that differently if they thought Decker was eligible. So both teams were kind of robbed of an opportunity here. Also, we can talk about the rest of the situation real quick. You know, Lions, I also have to say, you don't have to go for two just because you already committed to going for two. You can then decide to kick the game-tying extra point, which I would probably still recommend after you get the five-yard penalty, even if it probably shouldn't have happened. The Lions would try it on this one, which would end up not uh, converting. Or converting didn't matter because there was another penalty, so they would try on another situation. This one also would not end up working out. Uh, again, don't know if the Lions had to do. Maybe the second one, I don't mind. The first one, though, not sure if that's what you have to do. You know, go go to overtime at that point. Maybe you don't want overtime. But, like, I don't know. You're competing for the one seed. You know, going, playing some extra football is not the end of the world. But just a, just a weird ending. 